Hey everyone, Jay here from Jay AI's Tips YouTube channel, and today we will review Peak AI. Peak AI is a AI search visibility software that helps brands track their prompts in the LLMs. So I have signed up for it, and while uh, you know, I'll show you the sign up system. So here, when you sign up, you have to just enter your brand name, then your brand website. I have entered Zoho for an example. They also give you to you know select the location. So I'll not select anyone. I'll just keep the default location as United States. You can click next. So PKI keeps on, uh, you know, it generates prompts for you and then uh, it gives you the suggested prompts. You can keep any of those as you want and then you can just click next step. So now PKI is actually, you know, prompting the AIs for your prompts. Uh, they don't, they still don't mention that they are doing it manually uh, or they are doing it via API because as per in my experience, the responses are very different when you search from the API and when you manually go and prompt the LLMs. So here uh, they have given some basic information like industry ranking, there's top sources, so and there's like recent charts, so like which all recent questions that are being prompted in the LLMs and where uh, PKI, sorry, Zoho is being mentioned or not. Okay, uh, so I have actually signed up for it and I plan, I purchased the $1.89 plan and in which you guess you just get three models so it's fine for the review we'll proceed with three models over here you can see the visibility tab where it shows where was your brand uh, what the percentage of your brand in terms of LLMs and then there is competitors so here uh, we have not added competitors so I guess that is why it's not showing much here there's top sources what are the most uh, top sources suggested for the prompts that we suggest uh, that we selected and then in the prompts tab you can uh, see what all prompts yeah, what all prompts that you have uh, added is being searched, uh, which I don't think is accurate because a lot of the users are not going to search for such prompts. So what I'll do is I'll add some more prompts such as, um, yeah, so I added five new prompts uh, like this one, affordable project management software because the suggestions that Peak AI gave, Peak AI gave, gave like uh, what is the best Zoho product uh, project, product for project management movements, your customers are, I mean Zoho's customers are not going to search like this. Uh, Zoho's customers are actually uh, going to search like affordable project management software for grant chats, then top accounting software for freelancers with tax compliant compliance then affordable HR HR management software for software and small businesses. So these are the kind of prompts that uh, Zoho's uh, optimal customers would prompt and so these are the ones that I added uh, I guess it will take some time for it to run in the LLMs so here it shows that it's uh, it's pending it's actually uh, it is actually being processed so I'll wait for it so from the prompts tab if you just you know go to the prompts let's say for this one uh, best cloud based CRM software for small businesses for this one they have actually fetched it like four minutes ago prompted by uh, PKI so this, this was the response that it received uh, it's I mean the UI is really nice you can actually see that it was prompted from uh, United States in perplexity and the uh, sentiment so if even if the AI is mentioning your brand is it mentioning it in a good way or a bad way so here you can see that okay the, uh, the sentiment for Zoho for this keyword in perplexity from United States was 89 out of 100 so that means it's actually speaking nice things about uh, Zoho. You can also, from here, let's go, you know, uh, to the next section that is sources. So here, uh, the sources one, uh, the same thing, uh, what all uh, domains were mentioned by, you know, all the prompts uh, that we added for Zoho. So source is us. So obviously, uh, this one for the so for the prompts that uh, PKI generated, most of it had Zoho's name in it. So obviously, uh, if we prompt anything that has our own name to LLMs, LLMs are actually going to fetch our own domain. So I think that one uh, is a clear miss by PKI. After that, uh, Reddit, Zapier, YouTube, these are actually uh, good suggestions and good data point given by PKI. So you can actually reach out to such websites which, who are not mentioning uh, your website and get yours uh, mentioned over there. After that, uh, there's a competitors tab where you can add your competitors so that uh, whenever there's a you know data regarding prompts or the responses the responses can be automatically filtered out according to your competitors uh, which is what i liked and then there is tags which you can create just to you know manage your prompts let's say because zoho does uh, crm zoho does pos zoho does hrm uh, zoho does a lot of different stuff as well like email marketing and sms marketing so you can actually uh, bifurcate all of the prompts by using the text app from pki and then after that there's no nothing much it's just you know you can manage your team you can manage your billing uh, etc that's it uh, okay and the, so 
this was the complete overview of uh, PKI from the onboarding to the billing to how you add the prompts, how you analyze the prompt, what all data they provide. Uh, so let's just compare it with uh, Redarket, which is a cheaper tool and which provides accurate, more accurate data than PKI. So for comparing, I'll just take one prompt from each of them and then we'll compare the response as well as the data. Okay. So when you come to Redarket, you can see when you add a project, we actually add the prompts that your user will be actually searching. Uh, we don't add your brand name so that, you know, there's no confusion. So for example, I have added Zoho and you can actually, uh, from the overviews tab, you can see what was the average position, average rank, share of voice, share of voice rank, visibility score, visibility rank, all the important data that you can use to analyze your brand. After that, you can just go to the prompt section and here from here, uh, we have uh, folders and uh, then e in each folder, you can add your prompts based on that folder. So let's compare uh, this prompt for uh, for Zoho in Perplexity as well as uh, in Redarket and in PKI. Since uh, it wasn't run uh, by uh, Redarket uh, for this date, I just use their run live analysis feature which runs the key, the prompt for you in real time and they use real time browser agents. So, uh, you know, it gives you the real time response like a real user would see this answer. Okay. PKI, they actually don't mention that they do uh, prompt it in the LLMs by manually or, the, or the, you know, they call the APIs so that is unclear over here uh, there's one more feature by uh, redacted that is web search was performed or not so uh, every time you search something in the llm it is not sure that it the uh, llm searched for it on the web or not so we actually catch this data because we do it manually so we catch this data and we give you the the information that okay the web search was performed so you can actually go out there and actually make changes in the citation data you can take up take action on the citation data so let's compare the response now uh, i'll open this response so it starts like affordable hr management software uh, for 2025 include eddie so oh, this was actually given by uh, perplexity in real time and let's go to pki and let's see what was the information uh, given to it so affordable management software if you see the answers are actually very different uh, as as you can see here but uh, the thing is the when we prompt we prompt manually to the llms and this was the actual response given by the llm and here you can see the data is very different uh, but it's fine you can actually see uh, what all what the sources as well you can see there's checker technology advice uh, if you'll see here we'll see the computers and as well as ranking we go to the sensor you can see there's checker there's uh, forbes there's so there is a different data but i would say i would any day prefer the red arcades data because it's raw and it, it's actually prompting the llms in real time whereas peak is using uh, api for this for the same okay after that you see uh, peak is showing uh, the prompts uh, so citation data in terms of sources you can see what all sources were mentioned and used how many times and percentage of their usage you can also bifurcate it by urls uh, which is really nice and here uh, actually it's being selected by all the prompts so i just bifurcated it by perplexity so now it shows different information okay so for this one let's just go for perplexity okay so yeah the answer is different the citation data is more or less same to what we got in real uh, in redarket but in redarket you go to the citation data this is this is let's compare the citation data now so in uh, uh, in pki you will see the sources first and then you have to buy fake uh, bifurcate the urls and then you also have the domain type uh, that is mentioned you know in one tab is only in redarket you go to the citation data you'll see that how often zoho was uh, zoho's urls were cited for these keywords so it was 7.1 percent uh over here there's no percentage uh, information by pki so when you go to the citation data there is uh, you can see the whole citations that is set 70 citations were being tracked but if you'll see here uh, they only show you 10 okay so we have uh, on redarket we have more data by that that uh, peak was able to gather then your site and then your site was mentioned five times there's competitors so how many times the competitors were being mentioned and then there's, there's a opportunities tab so that means uh, you can go on to these websites and buy a link or make a placement for your link on these websites to get more mentions for your brand in LLMs. Over here, uh, you don't see that option. You just They just give you the options of, uh, they just bifurcated by corporate, editorial, UGC, etc. But on Red Arcade, we actually read all the websites and we give you the brief overview about uh, what all websites are, your opportunities, which you can go and buy a link. 
or you know ask for a link then uh, the same thing over here uh, they, they do have an urls option so you get to see the individual urls uh, but i would say this is very less i mean they're just giving they're just showing 10 links which is obviously not the case perspexity is actually showing a lot of uh, links so here uh, you'll see you go to uh, opportunities you'll you can also see uh, urls the urls from, uh, in red arcade as well so overall uh, the tool is nice i like the data but we are still not sure that it prompts the llms in real time or it's using the ai but uh, yeah api but on the other hand it does uh, prompt the llms in real time you can actually run live analysis which is a very which is a game changer feature which is not available anywhere we have the web search perform feature which is really important for you to know that okay a web search was performed or not because if a web search was performed then only you'll know that there was citation uh, you know so that citation data okay so that is it i that, that was my review of pki and uh, you can take your call based on the data that i gave as well as uh, you can sign up for radar kit it's seven day free trial is there uh, okay thank you so much